Number 308. The function f of x is equal to 300 plus 30x minus 5x squared represents the height of a ball thrown into the air. What is the maximum height attained by the ball? Consider the standard form of a quadratic equation. The general shape of the graph it looks something like this. If A is positive, you get an upward parabola. This point here is the vertex. Notice that when A is positive, the vertex is the minimum of the graph, it's the lowest point. To find the location of the vertex, you could use this formula. X is equal to negative B over 2A, where B is the coefficient in front of X, a is the coefficient in front of x squared. Now, when a is negative, when there's a negative in front of the x squared term, the parabola will be flipped. It's going to look like this. So the vertex, that is going to represent a maximum. You could still find it using this formula. And this line that passes through the vertex is called the axis of symmetry it's x is equal to a number, and that is the vertex of that number. Now, for this situation, we want to find the maximum height attained by the ball. Notice that we have a negative in front of the x squared, so we're going to have this kind of trajectory. In other words, the ball is going to go up, it's going to reach its maximum height, and then go down. To find the maximum height, we need to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which represents the maximum position of the ball. Once we have the x-coordinate to find the maximum height, we need to find a y-value that corresponds to the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate will tell you the location of the maximum, but the y-coordinate will tell you the value of the maximum height, which is what we want. So I'm going to write the function in standard form. Negative 5x squared plus 30x plus 300. So as you can see, it's, equal, it's written in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c format. The vertex, the x coordinate of the maximum height, is going to be negative b over 2a. We can see that a is negative 5, b is 30. So this is going to be negative times positive 30 over 2a, or 2 times negative 5. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 30 divided by negative 10 is 3. So the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is the location of the maximum height, is 3. Now, to find the value of the maximum height, we need to find the y-value, or evaluate the function when x is 3. This is going to be negative 5 times 3 squared plus 30 times 3 plus 300. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. 30 times 3 is 90. And 5 times 9 is 45. But that's going to be negative 45. Negative 45 plus 90 is positive 45. 45 plus 300 is 345. Therefore, D is the right answer.